Hello guys and welcome to another free landing page audit session. I'm Liza from Landing Page Guys and as always I am super excited to see what pages you guys have sent me this week. So guys, before we jump into it, if you are in uh, watching this in YouTube and you're not already a member of the Landing Page Lab, come on over to uh, Facebook, search the landingpagelab.com. This is a free group that we have set up. And in here, guys, you're going to find so much cool content, some seriously great discussions going on from, you know, conversion. We have dropshippers, marketers, you name it. It's all in here. So an excellent group to be a member of. And of course, this is where you will need to come if you want to get yourself a free audit as well. And of course, guys, if you're in the lab and you haven't actually been over to our YouTube channel, head on over there. It is landing page, guys. Definitely hit the subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell because then you'll get notified every time we drop a fresh video. We've got some seriously cool stuff in here. So how to build high converting mobile pages, um, you know, sort of sales pages. And recently, guys, we actually dropped our conversion rate calculator this is a sick tool guys so make sure you check that out so before I get to the pages itself guys if you haven't been here before then what happens is I have picked six pages um, at random from the links that everyone has been dropping into the lab and guys thank you your response has been insane so I am getting through them I promise um, but for today I have six pages and I'm going to view them properly for the first time today then what happens, guys, is to be honest, I'm going to really rather brutally pull through each of these pages and I'm going to give you some actionable tips that you can go away, implement to your pages. And when you do this, you actually will see an uplift in your conversion rate. So it's really exciting stuff. and I absolutely love it. Of course, guys, if you want to hit us up or need to get in touch for our help or anything, then just uh, go over to landingpageguys.com um, or you can grab me on Messenger and I'll get you in touch with Greg, our sales director. So on to the most exciting part, which is your pages. Now, as always, guys, with me, I have my two trusty tools. The first one is tools.pingdom.com. This is a free page. Page speed uh, test guys you can use this yourself and check out how quick your page is loading and of course I also have with me um, builtwith.com so this is going to show me exactly what you guys are using to actually build these pages um, I think in this case we've got looks like a custom page but it could be custom it could be um, WordPress Shopify connected page builders you name it this will actually show you what's going on with the pages so on to the first page, which I have literally just dropped into my two uh, two tools. And let's have a look. So, guys, if you've been here before, you know that I'm going to talk about the ADA principle when I go through each page. But for those of you that haven't been here before, what that means is that above the fold, you need to be capturing my attention. As we go down, you need to pique my interest. You then need to create this real sense of desire around your product or service. And then, of course, give me that final call to action. So off the get go on this page, I can see there's some really good points on here, but I can also see some areas where we can potentially make some changes and help you to uh, push that needle up on the conversion rate. Excuse me. So the first thing I would say is what does this say? Hey, JFC as we've made coronavirus. Okay, so okay, this is clearly part of your branding color. I like I love your little logo here. It's really, really cute. Um, but the white writing is getting totally lost on this banner. So as this is part of your branding, I would probably switch this to black um, or bold out the white. And one other thing, guys, is you know. <laughs> basically get rid of this FAQ bit that should be on your page further down, I hope, but make this shorter because this is way too text heavy at the moment. It's, it's just getting lost. It's lovely to see that you've got some trust on here. This is just super cool component of any sort of page, especially lead gen to have this sort of trust featured in. So that's awesome. What I am finding a bit distraction if distracting, if I'm perfectly honest, is typically on a hero section, it's almost like you've cut your hero section in half. So this looks like the hero and then this is like, you know, a beautiful section, but this is starting to go into interest. So personally, I would pull this down 
and have this as your entire hero section. However, there's things that we can add on to this page. So first of all, your headline, we let you know when flights to amazing destinations go really, really cheap. That's great. I love it. It's catchy. It's telling me that I'm going to basically get a deal. Um, but what you need to do, guys, is a bullet point out three or five benefits as to why benefits of using your service. So what's the benefits? I know it's saving money, but there's going to be other th cool things about your service. So just pull them out. If you can't get to five, definitely get three bullets on the page. I would then pull your call to action over and enter your email here to join. Yeah, that's okay. This again, look, it's looking a little bit cluttered on here. So I personally would make this larger so that it's not so uh, so cluttered and definitely get um, an emoji on there. But I like the send me cheap, uh, cheap flights, Jack. I think it's a nice call to action. Um, join a thousand plus members. So you're saying you've got a thousand plus members, which is insane amount. That's fantastic. Sorry, a hundred thousand. Um, but where's your social proof? So make sure you get your five stars above the fold or however many stars it is out of however many, you know, super happy members um, and definitely get yourself a testimonial above the fold. It helps instill that sort of trust in your service. But really nice. Just think we need to pull it down, add in some benefits and make a couple of little tweaks. Then we go down into interest and you've done this beautifully. Literally couldn't be happier. It's brilliant. So one, join uh, the club. Two, Two, get a flight three you go on holiday bam that's that's just brilliant and your use of icons is fantastic so really really nice let me go down obviously you're telling me more this is more about the interest which is great so this is laid out really nicely mm -hmm. see how you've got these stars here make sure you get those stars above the fold because that this is where it's you know it's got the most impact is that hero section. So make sure you're capturing that vital information there. Your desire section, absolutely lovely. I, you know, it's brilliant to see. And these look so authentic that it's fab. So well done. Great that you've got, hang on a second. Okay, so you've switched your call to action. And in fact, yeah, so we've got one call to action above fold, which is fantastic. We should then have another call to action underneath your interest section. So again, um, you know, make sure you keep the messaging consistent. So it would be the, you know, get Jack to send it to you now, or whatever it was. So definitely pop one in there and have the five stars underneath it. And then we need another call to action. And this one, don't, don't mix your messages. This is going to take people off on a tangent. So switch this to another call to action. This is completely unnecessary. It's kind of distracting. Then as we go down again, you're still doing the interest. I love this section. It's nice to see your actual face, Jack. So nice to meet you. And then we go down into an FAQs, which is amazing. So really, really cool. But again, yeah, that's great. So you've got your call to action. Definitely get emoji on there. That'd be absolutely awesome. And yeah, I mean, there's some really, really cool stuff on this page. I like it. I just felt like we need some more call to actions and some more social proof above the fold and maybe a little bit of reworking up here. But that was a good one. So thank you very much, Jack. And moving on to number two, iPhone 12 Pro in the tab. And the page speed, Jack, on yours was 2.23 seconds, which is actually not bad, to be honest. Um, there's a couple of things here it's saying, I mean, there wasn't that much on your page, to be fair. So there's a couple of things server size that can uh, still get you a, a little drop going on there, and that will increase your conversion rate too. And let's just drop the next page in. Okay, so what have we got? We have got WordPress, Bakery. Yep, lovely. Okay, so we've got a WordPress page. I love WordPress. It's so user friendly. And what have we got? Okay, I'll just let that run actually. Okay, so 3.2, definitely things you could be doing to get that down, guys. Ideally, we want to get that to sub two seconds. And certainly, you know, we see crazy increases. So decrease your page speed by one second can lead anywhere from like a seven to 10% uplift in conversion. So really work on getting your page speeds optimized, guys. And that's just compressing images. And there's a couple of other little bits you can do there as well. So let's go into the page itself. So is this a product page? Okay. Yeah. So this is a product page. Guys, typically, if you can drive your traffic to a direct response sales page. And what I mean by that is a page that's on a subdomain within your store, wherever it might be, you drive your traffic to this one page and there is zero navigation. So it's all about keeping people in that funnel, in that flow and making them take that action that you want them to do. Because unfortunately, when we drive to stores, 
you know, there's other things here to actually distract people. And don't forget, you've paid for someone to get here. So, you know, we're always trying to promote you guys to go direct response. But let's go into the page itself, cute branding. Um, clearly, this is an iPhone case. And again, I feel like you're missing out above the fold. So I haven't gone through. Okay, yeah, definitely missing out above the fold. Great product imagery. I think that's great. Shows off the, the quality of the product quite nicely, which is really good. But let's look at your headline. So iPhone 12 Pro Max case. You are telling me exactly what this is, and I can't fault you there. However, we see this all the time. This should be your sub headline. What we actually need is something above the fold here to tell us why I want this a case. What is it about this particular case that's going to make me want to buy it? Now, I think I just saw, yeah, you've got down here. So it's premium leather. It's free personalization, wireless. So give me, these are more features. Try and give me the benefits, but this is the kind of format we want to be following. So give me a headline, you know, be the envy of your mates with a personalized phone case. I'm really not a copy person, as you can tell. Um, but give us a benefits driven headline. Give us the, the name as your sub headline. Then draw out three, probably just three, because you need to have this on the page. Get three benefits on that, you know, about the actual uh, product and why we would want this particular one. Um, I love these five stars. Absolutely fab. Again, elongate this. So put 273 reviews um, um, of happy case owners, you know. Yeah, definitely. Happy case owners. So something more emotive there is absolutely great. You've got that this is £59. Um, I would actually do a strike through price first as well well. Um, people like to feel like they're getting some sort of deal. So give us a strike through price, then give us the price that it is. This is nice. This is I like the way you've done this. It's very good. Um, what I would say is that add to cart is not a high converting call to action at the moment. Um, so things that are more emotive. So um, rush mine now, grab mine now, get mine now. Anything, excuse me, <clears throat> Anything that's given you that sort of more imperative to take action and definitely, definitely get an emoji on this um, call to action. Another thing, guys, that you're lacking on your hero section would be any form of social proof in terms of a testimonial. And you've got the stars here, but let's get someone who actually has the case and a testimonial above the fold. And also, guys, you need to get these trust seals underneath your payment icons. So the things like... Um, uh, Visa, PayPal, Stripe, whatever you might be using, make sure you're getting those underneath. Free shipping worldwide, I would ditch that. I would put a small banner up here and I would say you've qualified for free sh shipping. So you're rewarding your customer as soon as they've arrived. It's all about emotions, guys. Everything I'm talking about is emotions because that's what sells products these days. So there's a few bits we can add it in there. I do think the way you've done your color and personalization is great. Um, as we go down, you should now be starting to pique my interest. Do you? Okay. I think, guys, what you need here, because you're, you're telling me to choose my color from this personalized add to cart, put in a section here and have a one, two, three. So like we saw on this one, you know, we've got one, in your case, it'll be one, um, choose color, two, personalize, three, we'll send, and you're gonna get your awesome phone. So let's have a one, two, three on that, especially when you're asking them to perform a process, a selection choice. So I think that would be great for this page. Then we go down, like you say, into, um, into the kind of features and things of the, the phone. Videos are absolutely fab. I think it's great that you have a video. Um, so I would keep that, but have your one, two, three section first. The imagery is fine. You haven't got any repeat call to action. So I would have your one, two, three, then have your interest, then have another call to action. You could always have it on these sections itself. And guys, with your text, when you're doing blocks of text, make sure that you are folding out the points that are really important. So in this case, it's going to be free personalization service on our products, you know, uh, non-slip grip leather. So just bold out the keywords that are relevant to your consumers. And like I say, just keep adding that repeat call to action in. Your desire section, great, lovely to see. So this is good. These look like really uh, authentic as well. If you can get a picture of someone actually holding the phone, phone case, 
in a review format, that would be absolutely awesome too. Then we should be going down into FAQ. So I realize that this is a store, but however, you are driving traffic to this page. There are going to be questions about this phone for sure and the personalization process. So take your top five uh, or six uh, frequently asked questions and get those on the page itself, okay? And then after that, we would have another repeat call to action. So again, you would lay it out with the product image, um, again, with the benefits, uh, the social proof, the payment icons, and all the trust seals. And see these, this is what I'm talking about. Make sure that these uh, payment icons are underneath your call to actions. I'm ignoring this because guys, I really feel like you should ditch this from your page. Giving people too much choice um, is damaging to your conversion rate. If you're driving traffic for the phone case, keep it for the phone case, guys. So we never recommend having uh, related products within a page that you are paying for people to get to. But that's brilliant. So let's go on to the next one. Gosh, I feel like I'm just talking at you like crazy. Okay, some sort of beard grooming kit. Uh, and let's see how this one is doing. Guys, if you're enjoying these audits, um, it'd be great if you could just give us some feedback in, in, uh, in the lab. We've had some seriously, seriously great responses. And also we've been getting some awesome results from these sessions. So we're seeing people's conversion rates increase. So that's absolutely fab. But if you want to see more of these, make sure you keep commenting and then I will make sure that we keep uh, chalking it checking out more of these audit sessions. So this is a Shopify page. Again, another great platform. And in terms of speed, okay. Yeah, I'll let that run. 1.82 seconds. That is a good, good speed for um, a Shopify page. So well done, you guys. So what is this exactly? A beard grooming kit? Just... Okay, this is interesting. Okay, guys, so um, please don't think me rude, but this is not uh, this is not a landing page in its truest sense. This I'll be amazed if this is converting. To be perfectly honest, and there's definitely an awful lot that you can be doing here. So th this is there's not a lot for me to kind of go through here because this is a bit of a strange page. So first of all, your hero section. There's no call to action. There's no social proof. Um, there's no to, you know, there's a product image for about two seconds and then I have no idea what this is. So guys, this needs a complete rework. This is your most valuable real estate. Make sure you're getting the key components there. I mean, you know, get an image of this beard grooming kit, give me some benefits of it and why I need this in my life. Make sure you have a big call to action. Give me some payment icons and social proof. And there's just so much that you guys need to add there. So I'm not really going to comment too much. Again, give us a one, two, three, if you can, you know, one, order your kit, two, we'll get it to you in however long, three, you are going to have a stylish, awesome beard. Um, again, you know, interest, what are you actually saying? Welcome to All Beards. All Beards is 100% organic and all natural grooming kit for your beard. We use the finest ingredients from our products. So guys, I mean, to be fair, this is literally the only information, this one sentence, two sentences on your entire product. So this really isn't enough to kind of entice people in. So start to talk about the benefits of it and definitely get even get some more features in there. Because as it stands, there's literally nothing to tell me why I would want this. Um, it, images alone are not going to sell your product. Uh, desire, it's great to see you've got a desire section. Are these models or are these real? Because that's a big, big thing. Um, so make sure you're getting genuine, authentic images in there. Um, if they are, fantastic. If they're not, I could obviously get those switched. Um, again, you know, we would have a repeat call to action all of the time. We would then want a uh, frequently asked questions section and a repeat hero section. So I can't really audit this page properly because there's nothing for me to work with. I mean, your call to action is almost down in your footer and it is, it's ridiculously small and there's no trust. There's no payment icons or anything, guys. So I just feel like if you think I'm being a bit harsh, I apologize, but this, this has got so much work that you can do to actually make this a convert. So apologies <laughs> and moving on to the next one, which sounds Paddle rackets, okay, let's have a look. 
whilst I know it does sound harsh, guys, I do sometimes feel bad when I'm just going through these pages. But the thing is, I can say this because we do this day in, day out, and we just get such amazing, amazing results. So, you know, please don't think it's rude. It's just that you can take this away and you can apply this to your page. And of course, if this isn't your page, you can still apply any of these sort of points that I'm talking about to your own pages, guys. So this is another, did I see WordPress? Yep, so we got another WordPress page and 1.78, that's really nice. So you guys are killing it on the page speed, to be perfectly honest, it's been really good. Um, so let's have a look at the page itself. What is this? Everything paddle, paddle rackets, exclusive paddle clothing, paddle racket. Okay, so, um, okay, so this is um, quite a cool store. So anything or everything to do with paddles, basically. So that's very, very cool. Um, what I would say, guys, is your your branding. So your branding is black and white, which is very slick, um, very cool. I like it. But the thing is, your call to action is getting absolutely lost. So you need to think about mixing this up. People are always wanting to go for their sort of branded look. And, and sometimes, you know, it, it, you do, but... Nine times out of 10, if you change your call to action to a color that stands out from your branding, people are more inclined to click it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, people are more inclined to click it. So definitely change this call to action. Make it bigger. Um, shop paddle clothing and hats here. I would say shop paddle clothing and hats now. So again, adding that imperative and getting an emoji on there never harms your, your click through rate. But definitely think about changing this. The other thing you guys are missing is any form of sort of social proof up here guys so get a testimonial above the fold get the five stars i bet you've got loads of happy people so i would definitely uh get the five stars out of however happy men happy paddle racket owners um and then get the vis visual testimonial as well again we need some trust seals guys and that comes in the form of payment icons have you been featured anywhere it looks like the sort of thing that might have been actually so if you've been featured anywhere get that in there as well so as we go down you would be starting to pique my interest as you know i've been saying this all the way through i just need to have a little read of what you guys are doing a racket for you expert staff best of the best okay so a little point here you've got some uh yeah you've got some nice points here but the way that this is laid out it looks kind of busy and it looks a little bit for want of better words scruffy so you see the way that this image is smaller than these which means that the alignment is out guys so you know it's little things like this that will make a difference. I don't like the way that you've um, capitalized you here, but you've not done that across here. So keep it consistent in terms of the way you uh, present your text as well. Um, down here is great. Um, I would say, you know, bold out any of the words that you think are really important here. And this, I, See, this isn't a bad thing to have. Um, I like the color, it stands out loads more, um, but this has given us a conflicting, um, uh, message here so quite often when we see these quizzes which are which are a good thing these things are good so it would be better to have two buttons so you have one button shop now or get mine now and then next to it you have another button that says take my quiz so you're giving consistent call to actions all the way through it it's okay to have two when you have these quizzes but preferably we like one. So make sure you're just presenting that a bit better and definitely get your stars under here as well, guys. So keep reiterating that social proof. Again, don't forget, let's get a one, two, three. What's it like working with you? What do we need to do? Um, you know, take this quiz, um, find the perfect paddle and have the best game of your life, you know? So make sure you're getting that, breaking it down one, two, three, nice and easy for your consumer. As we go down, I love the imagery here. This is really, really nice. So you've got five stars here and a little review. Get that above the fold, guys, and definitely get an image of the person as well because that makes a huge, huge difference. Your security seals, you've got, you've got it all going on, but this is just way too busy. This does not need to be this big. Again, watch this, take a quick look. Okay, so I don't typically press them because, you know, the whole point is that you're meant to be selling me on the page, but that's fine. I, again, stop mixing your messages, guys, so keep it consistent. So it's either, you know, buy it now or grab mine now or shop now or whatever you want to use, but don't keep mixing your messages because this is getting really kind of like 
uh, a bit busy for the eyes in all out honesty you know this is great power and speed comfortable you're gonna smash it you know get rid of uh, arm and strain ache these are great I would have these, you know, move the text around, make this sort of more pleasing to the eye. Icons, fantastic. You know, great money back seals. All of this should be above the fold as well, guys, so that it's clear and evident for everyone to see straight away. This is the section I was talking about. This is lovely. I like your use of icons. I like the sizing as well, actually. I think that's really nice because it's very, very in your face. Personally, I would move this section so that it becomes the break between here and you starting to talk about the features of each of your kind of products. So have the one, two, three, go into the benefits and features. Um, I do love the imagery on here. Have your repeat call to action. And these should all fit underneath your call to action in one line, really nice and clean. Get this seal above the fold for sure and get your free shipping as well. Um, but really, really nice section. And again, this, look at this. You've got amazing, amazing things, you companies you've worked with. This should not be, you know, a third of the way down your page. That should be at the uh, here. So where you can see a racket for you, all of this should be your featured in going across here. So this has got great content. It just needs reordering, if that makes sense. Um, again, you're giving me more about the interest and stuff. And guys, it just looks a bit too busy. You know, so just try and think about the way that you are presenting it. Sometimes you can use icons with text rather than having big, thick headlines. But these are great images. Absolutely awesome. You know, again, this is nice. We're repeating this kind of call to action. It's like you've got two hero sections in the middle of your uh, your sort of home page. And I get it. That's OK. Um but yeah, just make sure you're keeping it nice and tidy and pleasing to the eye. Again, you know, you've got related products. This is technically a homepage, so that's fine. On a homepage, the purpose is different. It's to get people into your store. It's not a direct response page. So, you know, this is the one time we'd say, okay, that's, that's fine because that's the goal of this page. Um, then again, look, you know, you're changing this call to action every time, guys. So make sure you keep your call to action exactly the same get the five styles underneath and then get the uh, payment seals underneath. Great that you've got reviews. Uh, personally, I would pull the reviews onto the page themselves. You don't want them clicking away. It's just going off on a tangent, guys. So definitely get those on the page itself. Again, presenting me with more about the products, so that's nice. This imagery with this text looks better than the other way around when you had it above. Uh, it's just more pleasing to the eye. Um, again, we've got some reviews here, which is nice to see. And then a blog. Okay. And again, this is just looking a little bit busy, guys. So blog clicks so far. Get rid of that. You've got zero clicks. You don't need it. It's just filling that space and making it look a little bit uh, messy. Again, this little section, I'm sure it is very, very important. But this is just, it's like an afterthought. So I would take this section out completely and, you know, have your, your page break with these points here. Oh, this is good. So you've got your desire section. Again, change that call to action. So it's the same. Frequently asked questions. Brilliant. And then you go down into your uh, footer. Okay. So because this is a home page, as I said, it's got very, very different function to a sales page. This is all about getting people to engage in your brand and getting them to shop now, ultimately. Um, however, regardless of that, this, this is a great page. It still needs to conform to the principles. So this page has got all the right content, but you've just scattered it all over the place, guys. Keep it consistently in sections. So from the top, you want to have your hero section. Give us a couple of points about why we should be using your service. Strong call to action. Get the five styles underneath your call to action and give us a testimonial above the fold. As we go down, go into your one, two, three. Then give me the interest. Keep the interest all within one section. Um, this should be absolutely on the head on the top. Your desire section is split over two sections. So yeah, guys, just, just play this back, run through, and I've pointed out all the areas where you need to just rearrange your page because content wise, we're killing it here. We just need to make a few sort of additions and uh, moving around. So let's go on to number five. Oh, we've got a lead gen page. I like lead gen. Uh, copy and let's have a peek.
Guys, if you want to get your pages audited, if um, if you've not had it done before or you're looking to get your page done, then all you need to do is go on over and join the landing page lab. And then every couple of weeks, I drop in a link asking you guys to drop your pages. And then it could be your video that actually comes up next on these, um, these audit sessions. So great response, guys. I love doing them. I love looking at your work. It's amazing. And you do some really cool stuff. So this one is on Unbounce. So this is a page builder. And in terms of speed, incredibly fast for a page builder let's see what you have on the page itself where's it gone okay so uh swap to receive up to 375 dollars cash back when you have the swap team take care of your glass arizona drivers do you have cracked Ah, okay, so this is why it is super, super, super fast, because it's very, very small. <laughs> um, but, you know, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. So a couple of things here, guys. I like your branding. Um, I think it's very in your face. I think that's very, very cool. Um, you are conflicting your call to action. So whenever we do pages, we always recommend stick with one call to action. So <clears throat> test it. Test your page, do two pages, test one page with the call now and test one page with a form fill. Whichever one gives you the best results with your service, then go with that. But try not to give people two call to actions. Um, it's just all about keeping it as simple as we can for the consumers. It sounds patronizing, but we really honestly, as consumers, we're lazy. So you just want to give us that one thing that we need to do and that will help increase your conversion rates. So your, uh, your hero section, um, you know, I'm not a fan of this, you know, look, the U, the, the tail of the Y has been cut off. It all looks a little bit kind of cobbled together. Personally, I think your headline here, um, so Arizona drivers, do you have a cracked or chipped windshield? That should be your headline. And then receive up to 3, 000, uh, 375 cash back when we take care of it. But also guys, why should I use your service other than money? What's the benefit of me actually signing up with you? Is it literally that I'm going to get the cash back? Well, then fine. But, you know, elaborate on that. Give me some bullet points and telling me why I should use your service. So it's not only that I'm going to get cash back, which is insane, you know, but you're going to take care of all of this for me. I don't need to worry. So there are benefits to me using your service. Sell Tell me on those benefits, make me want to fill out this form that bit more. Um, again, your call to action form, it's, it's getting a bit lost because obviously it goes down into uh, the white background. So I think maybe having this in an inverse color would be better. Um, perhaps bring your headline over, drop down your bullet points and then have this right aligned. Um, I think get cash now would be really good and definitely pop an emoji onto your, uh, your call to action. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, what the information you're asking for is fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, I feel like this receive up to 375 cash back. You know, this could be bolded out because this is your sort of key selling point. Um, so yeah, definitely think about bolding this out. But I definitely feel like you would benefit from changing the color of this form. So then we go down, we should be going into interest. As you guys know, I've just been talking about it all the way through here. Um, you go straight into desire. So it's great to see you've got this on here. I'm, I'm really happy to see this. But guys, you need to give me more. Um, so you need to give me something that tells me a bit about your service, why I want your service other than just your headline. And also, you know, again, you would also benefit from the one, two, three. So for example, every page does, which is why we say it all the time. So one, fill in the form. Two, I'm going to get back to you within 24 hours. Three, we're going to sort your rinse gain out and you're going to have $375 in your pocket. So break it down into what I need to do and what you will do for me as a, uh, a service provider. So that would be really cool. Then go into your desire section. Make sure you repeat your call to actions. And I think something you absolutely need on this page is going to be um, a, an FAQ section. So please don't forget your FAQs. What are the barriers to entry here? Because people will have questions about their windshields. You know, make sure you're answering those questions before they have to get on the call. Because what that will do is it will help pre-qualify your leads. You don't want people to you know, get on a call with you just to ask you questions, which if had they been answered on the page would meant they hadn't gone further or that they're super interested. So definitely get your FAQs on the page, guys. Um, so yes, basically a few things we can be doing up here. We need some form of trust up here as well. Definitely need trust. So that comes in the form of 
featured in, um, definitely get some social proof. So you need to get one of those testimonials above the fold and get some stars on here. So, you know, however many stars out of however many happy customers, and that will help here. Another thing that you really should have with a lead gen page is a uh, SSL secure. So data encryption secure, so that people feel confident that when they give you their details, they're not gonna get spammed the life out or get hacked. So yeah, some uh, little points that can help there. And I can't wait to see the changes on these pages. And we are finally, guys, already on our last, last page. Gosh, this has gone quick. Now, actually, this was a mobile only, if I recall. Okay, so guys, when we're looking at a mobile page, all of the principles that we talk about in um, a desktop, 100% apply to a mobile view. The only real difference is obviously that this is a condensed version and we need to be aware of our padding and what we're getting in where. So for this page, I think actually, if I'm not mistaken, I did a duffel bag page for you guys. Um, but yeah, so let's go into the page itself. Um, this is, I believe, one of our templates. Um, but this, this, I mean, it's really nice. The layout, you've got all of the key components there. There's just a couple of tiny tweaks that I can think of um, here. So the first thing to say is your, your images here. I feel like they're a little bit too small. Um, it's very, very hard to actually see what that is. So I would definitely, um, you know, get a bigger image if you can and add a couple more thumbnails in because it looks like a kind of, it doesn't look complete. So I would get a couple more thumbnails in here so people can really, really scroll. So mini tuna, this is clearly a, uh, a cattle. And in actual fact, my friend bought one of these and her cat went insane for it. Um, so really, really cool little product. But this doesn't tell me, your headline doesn't tell me that this is a cat toy. Bearing in mind, your first image was just a fish. So make sure you're making it very clear here that this is a, you know, super fun uh, cat toy. It's going to keep them entertained for hours. So, you know, make sure you're making that very, very clear above the fold here, because as it stands at this precise moment, you could be mistaken to be not quite sure what's going on. This is fantastic to see the five stars, the happy customers, love it. You know, you've got your uh, striked out pricing, 50% off, which is great. This is fab, we're getting the call to action, the trust and all of the um, security sales. Again, you know, this is fantastic. You've got what's included, durable. Um, so it's really nice, you're starting to pique my interest. Um, free shipping when you buy two plus items. Again, you've got this awesome section. Guys, this is what we were talking about on the uh, all of these other pages that haven't quite got them. Get yourself a one, two, three. So how does it work? One, you're going to order it. And don't forget to just bold out any of the words that you think are really, really important. Um, we're going to deliver two. You're going to open it and enjoy the limitless uses of our mini tuner. So I, I would I would personally pull more on the benefit of the fact that your cat is going to be in cat heaven, you know, it's it's going to have hours of fun. So I would pull out a bit more on the uh, emotive terms on this page. So and again, up here, just try and think of some slightly more emotive uh, pulls because we love our pets. We want to know they're happy. Make that clear in your content. Really nice section. Look how the padding is sitting in really nicely, guys. I love the the headings here, really nice. Again, you're bolding out the right words. I think this text could be slightly larger. Um, you know, and this is what we were talking about. Endless fun. This is awesome. So refillable catnip. Oh my God, they go crazy for catnip. So make this a little bit bigger, guys, because it's getting a little bit lost, but you're following everything absolutely beautifully. Um, fab that you've got a video. I think personally, it would be good uh, to test some different layouts on here in terms of the ordering, but this is absolutely brilliant. You want to see the cat enjoying it. So that's brilliant. Again, now you're telling me about the features. This is a great image. I love this image. You should have this in one of your thumbnails at the hero section. Potentially, I would have this as your opening image um, when you actually land as well, because it's very clear what this is then. Um, again, these are all absolutely, actually, these are really cool. So really nice, great down into desire. And then finally, you're going into, are you? Yeah, your repeat call to action. Um, one thing on here, 
you've got it down in the footer here. Personally, I would uh, pull out and put an FAQ section in here as well, guys. So before your final call to action, after your desire section, um, get an, a frequently asked questions section on the page itself. And that would be really good. I mean, there's only minor, minor tweaks on this page in all honesty. I think it's more about the content and changing some of the images. You guys are now, I should imagine, at a point where this is all gonna be all about testing. So, you know, test having this video up way higher um, definitely test different pictures and another thing I feel like you guys are missing a trick here because this product here is absolutely the right sort of product for bundling because many people have more than one cat um, many people would get this for their cat and want to buy it for their friend this is the perfect sort of product to bundle so what you need to do is get yourself a bundle option on this page um, it's going to increase your AOV and you know it, it can do you no harm it will only do you good guys so i would do buy one um by three by five and the reason that we say that is because basically we want to direct people to buying the three so we're going to make that the most attractive offer so this is a lovely page definitely work on that image though guys make sure it's clear that it's the cat toy but absolutely brilliant so guys we've actually come to the last last page and i just want to say a huge thank you now don't forget to go on over to the lab keep commenting give us your feedback show us what's going on um and it's been absolutely awesome to look at your pages if you need our help guys just hit us up at landingpageguys.com um, or you can reach out to myself on messenger and i will get you in touch with greg he's part of our sales team but absolutely love it and look forward to the next session thanks guys bye